Hello friends, this video on basic geometrical ideas part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will talk about another categorization of polygons that is regular and irregular polygons. Regular means something which is very normal, very smooth, very even. So that is something regular. So let's see what are they. Regular polygon where all sides and all angles are equal. That's interesting. That's why it's regular where everything is symmetry, everything is same. So all the sides, all the angles are going to be equal. So whether the polygon has three sides or four or five or six or whatever be the number of sides, but all the sides need to be equal and also all the angles should be equal. For example, here, this side, this side and this side, they are all equal in length. So let's call this as A, B, C. So in this case, A, B is equal to B, C is equal to A, C. So the sides are equal and also these angles are equal. That is angle BAC is equal to angle ACB is equal to angle CBA. So these are the two criteria which should be satisfied for a polygon to become a regular polygon. Irregular polygons are those where the sides and angles are not equal. So for example, you look at any of these polygons, you see here, this side and this side are equal, but this side is bigger than this side. So it is not equal to this. But again, this side and this side are equal, but this is not equal to this. Basically, all sides are not equal. In this case also, we are not sure if these two are equal, but the, this is bigger than these two. Therefore, here, this is also irregular polygon. You look at this here, the angles are different. By looking at it only, we can say, you look at this angle and you look at this angle. This is a smaller angle, but this is a bigger angle. So, whenever you have all sides equal and all angles equal, only then we call that polygon a regular polygon. Now there are many different types of polygon. Now there are polygons with three sides, four sides, five sides and so on. So let us quickly look at some of the types of polygon. Now why am I talking about a polygon with three sides at the first go? Why not a polygon with one side or a polygon with two sides? Now, do you think that you can have a polygon with one side? One side would be nothing but a line segment, just one line segment. Does that make a closed curve? No, because it, it is just an open line segment. It cannot enclose any space. So basically, it is not a, not a closed curve. Therefore, it is not a polygon. Similarly, if you consider a, a polygon with two sides, is it a polygon at all? No, here also it is not a closed curve, it, it, doesn't, it, it doesn't enclose a space within it, therefore this is also not a polygon. So the smallest polygon that you can have is one with three sides, so you at least need three sides, only then you will get a polygon. And this polygon with three sides is called a triangle, tri means three angle we already know that means three angles so here you have three sides three angles so it is called triangle that is triangle similarly a polygon with four sides is called a quadrilateral quad quad means four so it is quadrilateral now these four sides now there can be many varieties of quadrilateral again because some quadrilaterals might have all the four sides equal some might have all the four angles equal some might have opposite sides equal so depending on all that there are many different types of quadrilaterals also polygon with five sides they are called pentagon penta means five so penta means five so five sides pentagon Six sides, six is hexa, so this is hexagon. Similarly, polygon with seven sides, seven is hepta, so this is heptagon. Eight sides would be octagon, because eight octa means eight. So in this way, you can have many different types of polygons. So polygons with different number of sides are named differently. So here in this lesson today, we will quickly introduce you to triangles. We will also quickly introduce you to quadrilaterals, but we will not go beyond that. 
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.